Okay, Coach, you got a couple teams out here. You got level two, level three. Is that what it is? Uh, absolutely. We got a level two youth team that's closest to us here. And on the other side, we have our level three junior team. Okay. And right now, what we're having them do is for the first 30 to 45 minutes of every practice, they work out together. Okay. So we have them doing 10 downs together. We have them doing jumps together. Cool. We find that it motivates each team mm -hmm. to try to push themselves a little bit harder, especially the level two team when they see the level three team. Yeah. It, it motivates them to try to do just a little bit better. Absolutely. Now, how many teams do you have here at the gym? We have four competitive teams. Okay. We have a level four senior. Okay. We have a level three junior, a level two senior, and the level two youth. Okay. Okay, and then we will probably have Anywhere from two to four uh, prep teams mm -hmm. uh, starting in September. Oh. Right. Awesome. awesome. Now, uh, how did you get started out in the whole industry? Wow, that was kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Everybody, that's the thing. Everybody has I'm, an interesting story. I'm very, so I'm, I'm very old. Okay. So, <laughs> so when we started out, we were going to start out doing little tumbling classes for three, four, five, six, up to seven-year-olds. Mm -hmm. One of my instructors was a competitive cheerleader. I had been a cheerleader in high school, but back in the old days, we didn't we didn't have competitive cheerleading. So um, I was an IT consultant for many years, and starting the gym, I just wanted to start small. Mm -hmm. Well, my instructor came to me and said, "Hey, can I teach a cheerleading class?" Sure, we can teach a cheerleading class. Let's let's do that. We can. And so we taught five or six kids, and then it grew from there. And then at the end of the season, she said, hey, can I take these guys, can I put together a routine and let's take them to a competition. And so, sure, we did that. We took them to a competition and they did okay, fairly well for them. And so the next year we grew, we were six, six kids our first year. The next year we were 17. The year after that, we were 27. Wow. The year after that, we were 49. The year after that, we were 70. Four, you're doing I something. Think. Right. Yeah. So we've we've grown pretty much exponentially every year. Yeah. At one point we did get up to we were we were 120, 137, wow. I think, competitive cheerleaders. Right now we're at 75 competitive cheerleaders. Rec team has taken some of those cheerleaders. Wow. We kind of split those off. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Now, how many staff members you got here at the gym? It varies. Yeah. At any one month, but in between ten and fifteen. Okay. Good deal. Now, what do you look for in staff? Uh, someone knowledgeable huh? who knows what they're doing. Number one, uh, and it depends on the it depends on what we're looking at them for. I can coach that. Uh, is our head instructor for cheer, and he was one of our head instructors for tumbling. Mm -hmm. um, so he does everything. Um, coach Monica uh, has been doing this for for quite a while. Um, she is she coaches our little most of our younger teams and our level two senior team. Mm -hmm. um, someone who's been in the industry for a while. Uh, I don't normally hire teenagers unless we're bringing them in to train them ourselves, and so they're helpers with the team. Right. Okay. Uh, a couple of coaches who just walked away. Um, Coach Tim over there. He is tumbling instructor. He has been with men's gymnastics for... Tim, how, how long have you been with men's gymnastics? What? How long did you coach men's gymnastics? Uh, I coached for about seven years. Seven years? Okay. And uh, currently we're training him how to stunt. Yeah. Coach Tim loves stunting now. No. He is a, yeah. he's a stunting beast. <laughs> stunting no, beast? It, it, it's definitely uh, uh, one of those things that... that it's very learnable as far as the coach goes. It's, it does involve a lot of like gymnastics and body positions, so right. stuff that I'm used to. Um, you know, but it's, it's one of those learning things. Uh, cool. uh, I'm one of those, but yeah. Uh, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, is there ever you know, an age that is too, you know, like a cutoff? Are you, you talking know? old or young? Old. You know, like you know, a lot of the a lot of the high schools are looking for guys. Right out there, right. and you know, a lot of them want to do it, but they just feel like they can't because it's too late. They're too old. Yeah. And that's no, no. Is Especially a, with guys. Okay. Especially with guys, we can take a guy and probably train him to do back handsprings, back tucks, probably layouts, because guys are usually not. I say it in a different way. 
we're not as smart as females are. And we will just throw our bodies around however we want to, and we don't care about the consequences a lot. So I can take that and we can actually train those guys. What about the lifting techniques? The lifting techniques is not that hard for guys, really. Okay. It's really not. I mean, guys can overcome a lot of technique issues with muscle. And, and so while we're doing that, then we can teach them the correct technique while they're overcoming the bad form. Excellent. So we, we have a pretty good track record teaching guys how to, how to stunt. Um, Plano East is one of the lo local schools around here, and you can take those guys and teach them to stunt within a very short amount of time. Really? Very short amount of time. Oh, that's interesting. Very yeah. interesting.